here's a quick tutorial on how to get your Eagle LiDAR scanner data to Cloud Compare. So once you're in Ray Studio and you've gone through the basic data and colorizing, for this example I'm just going to use the black and white data. So go to your Recalculate Results, AMAP, make sure it's clicked. Go to the Data Management section, slightly above it, click on the Export Symbol, which looks kind of like a door with an arrow. Save it in a folder that you can remember. I'm going to save this as a .las file, click Save, it'll export. Then open up Cloud Compare, once you're in Cloud Compare, go back to the folder where you saved the .las file, click on it, drag it into Cloud Compare, say Apply All. Then once you're in Cloud Compare, you can click and drag around. Uh, by default, with the black and white version of the LiDAR thing, it's going to be really hard to tell what's going on. So click on your file in the DB tree, go to Edit, Scalar Fields, Export Coordinates to Scalar Fields, click on the Z axis, that'll colorize the vertical axis. And then for this image, like everything's mostly green, you can see a slight outline of the object. That's because there's a bunch of stray points above it. So at four on your number pad, zoom out with your middle mouse scroll. Then in the toolbar at the top, you'll see these scissors, which is the segment tool. Click on your scissors and you're going to cut around your actually useful data and then right click to close the segment tool and in this new box that pops up you'll either click on this hexagon or like the outside hexagon for this one I want to click on segment in I think that's just going to keep the data in the middle but if you get it wrong then you can either choose to completely delete the other data with the confirm and delete hidden points or you can click this green check mark which is confirm segmentation. Uh, I'm going to click the green check mark. And the only reason I click the green check mark for this tutorial is in case you clicked on the wrong tool earlier, you can go up to your DB tree and figure out which data is the actual right data. So I don't need this bottom data, so I'm going to click on it, hit the delete key. And now I'm just going to scroll in with the mouse wheel and look around. If there's other data you want to get rid of, uh, you'll see this like cross symbol. That's going to be your pivot point, so put your pivot point around the data you want to keep. Uh, double click the actual object first. Uh, so I want to delete everything around this thing. So I'm going to hit 8 on my numpad, scroll out, use the segment tool again, and draw a quick box around the object. I want to include what's in the object, so I'm going to use segment in. And I don't need the data outside of that, so I'm going to click the confirm and delete hidden points and there's no other layer in the db tree now and if you want to you can do that to clean up all the stray points or you can use the sor tool which has a bunch of little dots above it this says statistical outlier filter so i'm gonna click that use the default values click ok and this takes some time at least for this scan Okay, now that you see a bunch of the stray points have been cleaned up, we want to export this file. So click on that new file in your DB tree, click the single save uh, disk. Then you've got all sorts of formats to save this in. I'm going to save this as a PLY, name the file whatever you want to, click save. See, so I'm going to bring this into Blender, so I'm going to click the ASCII version. Now then I'm going to open up Blender and find the file I just created. It's this PLY file and drop it in. Say import PLY. Then if I go to the viewport shading tab, even though I've got a light in Blender, the object isn't accepting a light at the moment. So I need to go to geometry nodes, click new, hit shift A. I'm looking for mesh to points. And now if we go back to the shading view, you can see this accept lights now. Uh, if you want the points to be smaller, add in set point radius. And if you don't know how I got to these, I just hit shift A and then typed in these words. And from here I can change it from, what's this, five centimeters, I think. I can change it down to one centimeter. Yeah, it looks like it's higher resolution now. You don't want to go too low because you'll start seeing through the model. So if we go down to, I think that's 10 millimeters maybe, or maybe that's one millimeter, you, you can see through the model now. So that's a quick tutorial on how to bring the Eagle LiDAR data from Ray Studio to Cloud Compare to Blender.